Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. My name is Chris and this is the Subscriber Designs episode 24. Uh, today we're going to start off with the jetpack and this is made by 8R Stones or also known as Geist 3002. Now this is a jetpack as I said. Uh, we've never tried a jetpack before on this channel as I can remember. But you know, it's, it's time to start actually. <laughs> so let's launch it. Uh, it has a very interesting connection with the parts, yeah, and I'll show you in a second. Uh, remember, this design was made in the previous version of KSP, and the uh, previous version had a slightly larger inline reaction wheel, which is why you'll notice we have this gap here, large gap, because the, the jet engine here is meant to be connected to the larger reaction wheel, but now that it's small, it's like, oh, I'm still connected. It doesn't really think, but okay, whatever. Let us get our Jebediah Kerman out and let's make sure he doesn't die from fall. No, no, my bad. Oops, go that way. Yes, walk forward, forward, and let's get that board. Let's click that. And also, a little message to Geist. Uh, when I was reading your submission email, I thought it was spam, but don't worry, I clicked it and I had my countermeasures all running and all that. But yeah, it was all good, but it just looked like spam. I know why you, you said it. You explained why anyway, so... Full throttle. Yeah, it's model. Actually, not full throttle. Let's go 50%. And let's make sure we control from the drone here. Okay, because... That's what he recommended. Okay, so we use the probe to control this thing. Uh, engines, all good. It's SAS. Alright, whoa, okay. Woo! This thing's fast. So fast. Alright, let's throw it down. Whoa. <laughs> That's so funny. He's so happy. This is Jebediah, isn't it? Yes. EVA report. Let's do it. Whoosh. Nothing. The most precarious situations. <laughs> Indeed, it is. Reset. Alright. <laughs> let's try and land on the building. This is. I don't think we'll be able to do that. We do have parachutes. Little countermeasures if the jet the jet engine isn't doing us so good. Uh, oh, come on, turn it off. Engines are failing us. Uh, no. Here we know. Ah, it's unusual when it comes to controlling this thing, but that's because of the probe, the angle at, at which it is in. Oh no! Oh, spacebar. Was that too early? Whoa! Whoa! No, I think we've got it. And of course we can repair the parachute since hopefully it doesn't fall off. Since we have the Kerbal. Four points. Oh, that's my break. Oh, that's all good. Alright. <laughs> Alright, now if we get off, will we be able to get on? Yeah, we will be able. We'll be able to do that. No problem. So, oh, oops. Oops. Repack. And repack. And should we ever get on? There we go. What? Standing still. All oh, right, we've fallen down. What? Yes, and let's make sure that the probe is still our main control point. Throttle up. Simple enough. Look at that magic. <laughs> it's so fast. Look at this. The acceleration so good. I mean, this would probably orbit if we had a turbojet engine and maybe a couple more intakes. Yeah, we only have one intake at the moment, the radio air intake. Pretty cool. Look at, look at the speed, 300 meters per second. <laughs> this couple should die. Wait, let's, let's initiate high G forces. Oh yeah. <laughs> faint, faint Kerbal, I tell you, faint. Hmm, what an interesting addition to the game. If Kerbals could faint. I don't, actually that might be very bad. <laughs> Given the high G forces that they endure all the time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at him just sitting there. It's like, oh yeah. Anyways, I think that's it for this design. It's uh, simple enough and fun. So let's try out the next one. That was a pretty good one. The next design is by Science Freak and it is the Pterodactyl. Oh yeah, I like that name. So cool. What a cool name. And I had to fix something which isn't which isn't Science Freak's fault. It's my fault for not using this design early enough, but nonetheless, 
This had the same problem as the previous design with the inline reaction wheel. I had it was two of them here, small inline reaction wheels, and I had to replace them with the advanced inline stabilizer because of the size difference. So let's launch this. Uh, we've been given a few details here about the craft. So the maximum speed that Science Freak was able to achieve was 1.6 kilometers per second. I was able to say an extremely high number just then, but hey, 1.6 kilometers per second, pretty good. And contains 550 units of fuel. Indeed it does. That's always interesting. What's with this gap? What's with this gap? Ooh, there's something here. What is this? Oh, uh, that's just for looks. Oh, I see what you've done here. Oh, right. I should have realized that earlier on. <laughs> I haven't flown this yet. Full throttle. Oh, yeah. Let's fly. Capable of flying at 24 kilometers above sea level. Huge wings. Eh, decent size wings. All stock. Oh, yeah. That's very good. Of course it's all stuck. Should be able to lift off. No, no. Need more, more control surfaces at the front, I guess. Yeah. Oh well. There we go, simple enough. Should be able to go straight up. Yeah. Well, I'll be right back when uh, we've achieved a high speed. 700 moves per second. Man, the acceleration on this thing is really, really good. What's happening? Is this some sort of magical craft? Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at the speed. Oh, it's able to go much faster. As long as we're still going up in altitude. Oh, going down. Up again, please. Up, not down. Yes, that's the angle we have to stay at. Right about there. Whoop, hope we don't lose it. We're still maintaining control. Yes, please. It's slowing down in acceleration. We can still go up in altitude. What's the maximum altitude? 24 kilometers above sea level. Well, we're 21 at the moment. Heading on to 22. We can still go much faster. All right, well, we've achieved the about 1.6 kilometers per second at the moment. We're going up onto 1.7 pretty soon. Let's lower the pitch. Oh no, we're losing it. We're losing it. 1.7 kilometers per second. We're losing the craft. Uh, please make it to 1.8. I need one. Ah, oh, yeah, we could have throttled down, but hey, that's not bad. 1.7 kilometers per second. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, anyways, that's pretty good. Very nice craft, super fast. Has uh, two intakes in the front there, ram air intakes, and we have some four intakes on the inside here. These are the these are radial air intakes, I think. Yeah, simple enough. Okay, let's go for the. Wait, we're still accelerating. Yeah, please do it faster. I need 1.8. Yes. Are you going to do one? Oh, 1 1.8 kilometers per second. Yay, we did it. <laughs> anyway, that's about it for this one. <laughs> Very cool. 1.8. Very good. You can write that on your list now. Science Freak. Pretty good. Anyway, the next design is the MQ-9 Reaper. Interesting name. I think this is a real life craft. I looked it up. It's uh, one of those good old fashioned drones. And when I first looked at it, I thought, wait, what's up with the wing? And yeah, then I realized, oh yeah, this this won't break, it's all good. <laughs> uh, I had to add a few control surfaces uh, somewhere, where are they? There's, there's one. And I was also, I think the instructions said something about disabling the roll in some of the control surfaces. Well, let's read it. I also recommend during pre-flight to right-click the four rear flaps and turn off the roll because they make the craft lose control while rolling. And they can't be changed by action groups yet. Can they? Wait. Wait. I know. Heretic is such a noob. Yeah, they can't be changed yet. Why not? Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. They will do this very soon, I suppose. I wonder when. Anyway. Here we go. Simple enough. Let's go. Full throttle, why not? It's a pretty cool looking craft. 
these appear are these on an angle yeah these are on an angle they're pointing outwards mm, should probably lift off now gently yeah all good I wonder how the landing's gonna go should be interesting uh, we'll shoot at the buildings well there's a craft from last episode well that's already badly damaged that's by Rebn Corona, isn't it? Let's see. I remember the name. Heretic, you're such a fortune teller. No. Not really. Uh, that's that's not going to hit anything, is it? We're too far away. I look pretty cool, but I like the missile. Very nice. Oh, you know what? That's... Eh, not bad. Somewhat close. <laughs> okay, the yaw is terrible on this thing absolutely terrible but uh, you can't really do too much about that given the you know how this craft is meant to look like the real thing oh no we've lost control mayday 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 we've lost ah oh, we've lost control we did it no damn it ah we, we're doing too too tight of a turn uh, let's try again we, we'll be right this time we'll be right I have caps lock on wait uh, uh, no, uh. Okay, all good. I was doing some little trick here. Yes, ooh. Cool, okay. Now, if we were to change, go down here. I will hit you. Oh, oh, the action groups are set. Wait, if I click eight. Yeah, there we go. Hit it. Hit. Ah, oh, just over. Damn it. Heretic, you fail. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. I'm still a noob. Remember? <laughs> okay. Slowly. Caps lock is on. We're doing good. We need to point at the VAB. It needs destroying. Uh, will that get it? Fire everything. Fire. Oh, we hit. Oh, no. Oops. Oops. <laughs> Did we hit anything? Yeah, we, we hit a few things, I guess. What is this? Ah, debris. Anything else? <laughs> okay, well those missiles won't destroy the building. All the bombs, but hey, yeah, it's good fun. Good fun. And uh, I think that was it. Yeah, that's it for this episode. So I do think, I'd like to thank all the cool subscribers for submitting their designs. Subscribers are 8R Stones, also known as Guys3002, Science Freak, and Tristan. Oh yeah, I didn't mention his name. Tristan. Tristan is the one who made the MQ9 Reaper. So there we go. Simple enough. Hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Bye-bye.